Welcome everybody. It's unboxing time. What's in Julian's box? Well, here we have a box and it says fragile with care. So I wonder what's in the box. Well, let's find out, shall we? Got my knife. I'm gonna try and do this a bit more safely than last time. I nearly cut myself, Ooh, nearly cut myself again there. Need to uh, pay attention to the unboxing rather than looking at the video. So apologize if I'm not looking at you viewers. Here we are, just cutting through the box. You can tell this is genuine, can't you? Because this box has not been opened. So we'll just cut it down there very carefully. There we are, cutting it down there very carefully. Opening the box, we have cycling souvenirs. Can you see that? Cycling souvenirs. I wonder what this is, viewers. Well, we'll get rid of that bit of paper and um, a little bit of packaging. I tend to be quite an expert on packaging. It's uh, perhaps not very kind for the environment, but uh, looks after the stuff that's in the box. So, what do we have here? Oh. Well, we have some um, bubble wrap, this is called bubble wrap. Very nice stuff, bubble wrap. If you've never tried this, if you, uh, well, oh, not working, oh, there you are. Can you hear that little, uh, can you hear that? Yeah. You can pop the bubbles. Uh, endless fun for uh, children, though be careful they don't put the uh, uh, bubble wrap over their heads. Can be dangerous. Uh, anyway, let's see how we get into this. Uh, I like to be a bit careful when I'm opening the bubble wrap because uh, I reuse it. So uh, a bit of a bit of a recycler on the quiet. If I if I sell stuff on eBay, then I, I like to reuse the packaging. So uh, thrift. That's what they call it. Thrift. Bit of thrift, viewers, and then you can buy more stuff. Remember that. So we'll take the uh, take the bubble wrap off. Taking the uh, Taking the bubble wrap off, and we have three, count them, three boxes. I'll just get rid of the bubble wrap. So let's see what's in the box. Just opening the box now. Product of France, it says. It's interesting. And it's a, oh, look at that. It's a kilometre marker, and this is for the Col de Mont Genève. Altitude... 1850 meters. Says the same thing on the front and the back. That's why I was able to read it. So we'll put that one down. And here we have a, another one. This is the, what is this? Ah, this is the Paso de Stelvio. Altitude 2,758 2, meters. And this, what is this one? This is the Paso de Gavia, 2,652 meters. Now the Stelvio and the Gavia, I climbed a couple of weeks ago during a Marmot Tours Classic Coles of the Dolomites trip. And if you have a look through my videos, uh, you'll see uh, there is a video on both of these climbs. Very interesting. The Col de Mont Genève, I climbed uh, two years ago when I did the Raid Alpine with uh, Marmot Tours. Again, the Raid Alpine goes from uh, Geneva to Antibes over many of the famous uh, climbs of the Alps. The Col de Mont Genève is not perhaps as well known as some of the others, like the, the Galibier or the, Tour, uh, the Tourmalet. Uh, Tourmalet is not in the Alps, I appreciate that. The, the Bonnet, the Lissaran, the Lisoire. Um, but still, quite a, quite a tough little climb, that one. And uh, I have a number of others of these. I like to buy one for each of the climbs that, that I've done, at least where they're available. So I'm going to put them with the others, and you'll see what it looks like. So thanks for watching the unboxing. Here we can see the kilometre markers on my bookshelves. And very nice they look too. There we can see the... Col de Lobisque, we can see the Col de Lisseran, the Stelvio and the Gavia, which you just see me do the unboxing for, and the Mont Genève, the Tourmalet and Alpe d'Huez. 
very smart they look too. Here we can see the Col de Porte d'Aspe, which is in the Pyrenees, and the three climbs of Mont Ventoux. Uh, I did the three climbs uh, while doing the Sangle uh, a couple of years ago with some friends from the Old Portland Cycling Club. Very nice cycling club if you're looking for a club in South London. Uh, there are three ascents. The most well-known is up from Bedouin, and then there is the climb up from Malassen and the climb up from Salt. All very nice climbs. Uh, quite hard to do all three at once. Although, as my friend Paul King said, it's 88 miles, of which 44 is downhill, which is certainly true, although not sure it makes it any easier. And then we can see at the end the Col de Lisoire, which is in the Alps and was the climb used in uh, the tour uh, last year, I think, and won by Warren Bargui. And very nice climb it is too. There, so hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.